Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. National elections are important days here in the life of our church. Uh, we host three different precincts in our building, which means that on election day, like the one coming up in a week and a half, there will be people coming in those doors behind me all day long, from early morning to late into the evening. It's always fun. We have a group that stands here and greets people, welcomes them, offers them coffee, and helps them find their precincts. It's sometimes a little confusing. There's always new people who haven't voted in the precincts before, and they'll, when they find out you're a church staff person especially, they have that look of fear in their eyes. They're afraid you're going to try to convert them or uh, invite them to worship. We don't do that, by the way. There are people who have voted here for year after year, and so they're very familiar, and they're, they're gracious. Hi, thanks for hosting us. Appreciate the coffee. And then there are those who are really good friends. People that when you see come in the door, you smile, you laugh, you cut up with. And inevitably, in those situations, somebody will say to me, hey, are you going to tell me how to vote? Well, let me just say for the record, absolutely, I will tell you how to vote. In fact, the advice I want to give you goes back to advice John Wesley gave to members of his own society in England in 1774. He wrote this, I met those of our society who had votes in the ensuing election and advised them, one, to vote without fee or reward for the person they judged most worthy, two, to speak no evil of the person they voted against, and three, to take care of their spirits, that they were not sharpened against those that voted on the other side. I find John Wesley's advice to be very important in the life of our community and the life of our nation. We are amazingly divided right now as a people. Well, let me just suggest to you that as Christians who also happen to be citizens of the United States of America, we ought to take seriously the call not only to vote, but to act like Christian community as we do so. And that means to heed Wesley's advice to not use elections as a time to see people as enemies, but to find ways to bridge those, uh, those conflicts. When we see divisiveness, we ought to be the ones speaking into that, some sense of healing, some sense of gathering. We ought to be the ones who do not speak evil of other people or make sure our spirits aren't sharpened against those who vote on the other side. Surely we should be uh, a bomb in the midst of what is a difficult situation. So I'll be happy to tell you how to vote. Vote like you're representing Jesus Christ and how you treat people. Vote for someone who you think is worthy. But most of all, be kind and gracious to one another. I hope you have a great day.